Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you that if you're given a tree, then how to find the number of children of each node. For example, you're given this tree, which you can think of as an undirected graph without cycles. So we have these nodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So you want to find the number of children of each node or the number of nodes of the tree rooted with that node. For example, 6 here will have 2 children counting itself, 6 and 7. 3 will have 3 children counting itself 3, 4, and 5. 1 will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 counting itself. So we'll find the number of children of all nodes and I'll give the code. I'll write the code here and I'll be using this very tree in the example so you can see how it works. So right now I have an, I'm representing it as a adjacent to list. As I said, that you can think of it as an undirected graph without cycles. So I have the number of vertices, the number of nodes, which is n, and it'll be connected by n minus one edges. And those edges I'm taking in by x and y, saying x and y are connected. And in the adjacent list of x, I have y. So let's get started. So I'll have a array, which I'll be using for storing the nodes, n plus one. So I'm using n plus one because I'll be using one based indexes indexing so you can see the node chart from one and not zero so n plus one and visited array like i usually like we usually use and i'll be using dfs and by the way i've also made one video on dfs you're welcome to see that i'll put a link in the description so i have a children array and i have a visited array and then i'll do a dfs and the dfs i'll start from one i can start from any but no, you, it's better if you start it from the root itself. You should start it from the root. So I'll be starting it from one, which here is the root. Then I'll pass in the children array. Then I'll pass in the visitor array. And then I'll pass in one. So this one is initially the children that any node will have. Because as I said, I'm not taking the leap nodes without children. I'm saying that the leap nodes will have one children, which is themselves. So here this will return one and here this will return one and plus dfs from this this will return two so it will get two and again one two will return one three will return three will come to four four will return one five will return one and likewise i'll be adding the what dfs will be returning from each subtree and one is what uh, will be there initially because at each node at least will have one children which is itself so I have int dfs and I have int u, which was one now, the node that I'm working on, then the children array, then int visited array, and int child, say child. Okay. So the normal thing if visited of u is equal to zero. So visited of u is equal to one yeah so if visited of u is equal to zero visited of u is equal to one the usual i had to pause because of some noise in the background yeah and then like we usually do we'll draw us in the adjacent list of g of u so in the adjacent list of u so for each v in the adjacent list of u i'll say again the same thing if visited of v is equal to zero me if it's not visited then first let's make it visited visited of v is equal to zero now then the child we have will add the will i will add to that child plus dfs of meaning that will add to the current number of children the children we get from the sub children of this node that we're traversing so DFS of now the new node is V and then the children array and the visited array and again one because that node itself will start from one and if it has more sub children then that will increment like we're doing here. So child is equal to child plus DFS of V children visited and again that will start from one. After we're done with the node the variable child now contains the sum of all the children of that 
of you so children of you is equal to child and return child so to explain in a nutshell what we're doing suppose i have one initially so i do dfs from one now child is one now i come to two now two so i come to two here and i make it where it is equal to zero and child is equal to child plus dfs from two now when doing from two two doesn't have any other thing so it returns child which is equal to one so that one is added to the child of one child of one is now two likewise when we go to three when we go to six child will keep on incrementing and that's pretty much it so at every node we're looking at all of its sub children and we're actually breaking down the nodes till we find the single nodes which are sub children or children themselves which have one and then we keep on adding returning the dfs and we keep on adding to the main child and when we're done with that node the child variable now holds the number of children of that node so i'll show you for int i is equal to one i less than equal to n i plus plus see out children of i space and let's say n line although we don't need it so again i'm making the adjacency list from the edges i'm having a children array and plus one listed array and plus one and then i'm putting the root children visited and then one which is the least number of children every node will have and then i'm doing normal dfs and each dfs will return chill child the variable child in the end see I'll be making this tree in the example so you can see that it's working so let's just go here yeah so this node has as you can see seven nodes so this tree has seven nodes and from that one to two are connected one to three are connected three to four are connected three to five are connected one to six six to seven so as you can see it's showing that one has seven children like i said which is one two three four five six seven including one and then two has only one children which is itself and three has three children which is three four and five six has two children which is six and seven and seven has one children which is itself and if you don't want to include itself you can just say minus one so you'll get the children ex all of their children excluding themselves so again to explain what i'm doing is i'm doing dfs and every time i'm doing dfs i'm returning the number of child from that node and i'm adding that up to the current child so it may be useful for doing certain problems so that's all thank you